Imagine America if it looked like Dubai. Big cities with skyscrapers miles high and some of the most expensive architecture in the entire world. Over the past decade, America has been investing more and more into mega projects, with each one being at least $1 billion. These high profile and elaborate buildings are expected to reach major milestones in the coming year and beyond. First, is Amazon's HQ2. Their new headquarters design is definitely an interesting one, which will include 2.1 million square feet of office space split across two 22-story buildings, one in Arlington, Virginia, and the other in Long Island City, New York. As well as for Amazon employees, there will be 50,000 square feet of retail space for restaurants, fast food, and even spas, costing Amazon over $2.5 billion. Construction started in January of 2020 and is expected to be finished by 2023 in Arlington, Virginia. However, it's important to note why Amazon decided where to put their new headquarters. After announcing their plans for a new headquarters in 2017, over 200 cities in Canada, Mexico, and the United States offered tax breaks, expedited construction approvals, and even crime reduction programs to help Amazon's new 50,000 employees feel safer where they work. But in the end, Amazon decided on its final two, as Virginia is going to give them over $500 million in tax breaks, $23 million in cash, Cash, as well as some other undisclosed incentives, and New York is going to give them at least $1.5 billion in tax breaks, $325 million in cash, and more undisclosed incentives, almost making the buildings entirely free for Amazon. However, some people do have criticisms over the bidding war for Amazon's new headquarters, calling it a con to get more competition, as the proximity to both Jeff Bezos' home and the United States Capitol made Arlington, Virginia's location an obvious choice. Next is Samsung's chip factory. With the recent shortage, they've decided to build their new $17 billion factory in Austin, Texas, with construction starting in 2022. This 5 million square foot facility will certainly make Samsung more money than they invested. As of today, almost 90% of all advanced microchips are made in Taiwan, and with Samsung's new location being built in the USA, well, there'll be no need for overseas shipping, which will help lower costs for Americans and allow more tech goods to be made and sold, though this is Samsung's largest investment in the US both with money and size. The factory is expected to be finished no later than 2024, making its construction last only two years long, and creating more than 5,000 jobs for Austin citizens as well as helping reduce the tension between the U.S. and China, as China hopes to seize control over Taiwan and most of the world's logic chip supply. Next is the California High Speed Rail Project, which aims to create the first long-distance high-speed rail line in the United States. The project has 35 active construction sites along a 119-mile route through the Central Valley. The plan is to connect San Francisco and Los Angeles using high-speed trains, making the total trip under three Three hours at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. The system's coverage could be extended to 800 miles, with additional stations in Sacramento and San Diego. But just for the Central Valley section, the cost is projected to be $13.1 billion, with service starting in December of 2028, according to the Rail Authority's plan. The project was originally projected to cost $33 billion, but is now projected to cost just over $98 billion. And construction, which was supposed to be completed by 2020, is is now expected to take 13 years longer than was originally promised now targeted for completion in 2033. Next is the Buffalo Bills' new American football stadium. Most NFL teams today have stadiums that have state-of-the-art technology, with more than 50,000 seats and some of the best training facilities in the country. But the Buffalo Bills are still using their stadium that was built back in 1973. So recently, they submitted a plan to the city of Buffalo in August for a new $1.4 billion, 60,000-seat stadium to be built and completed by 2027. However, some things about the stadium are still yet to be decided, one of which is location. Their current stadium is in Orchard Park, New York. So once they start construction, they would first have to deconstruct parts of their original stadium and build the new one on top of the parts of their old stadium. Or what most fans are hoping for is that they pick a second location option, which would be their new stadium being put in downtown Buffalo, making the drive shorter for most of their fans. But if they were to build it in downtown Buffalo, it would shoot 
screwed up the price tremendously due to the insanely high land prices, making the stadium cost just over $2.1 billion. Next is the Gordie Howe International Bridge between the United States and Canada, getting its name from Gordie Howe, a Canadian ice hockey player who played for the Detroit Red Wings for 25 years. Well, unfortunately, he died two years before the start of the construction of the bridge, so the name is honored by the project. The bridge will ensure the smooth movement of people and goods, and it's expected to transport 26,500 cars per day by 2025. The bridge's main span, which is 853 meters long, will make it the longest cable-stayed bridge in North America. The bridge will have two A-shaped towers, six lanes for car traffic, and a 12-foot-wide corridor for cyclists and pedestrians. The project will cost a total of $4.4 billion, and of that, $2.9 billion will go toward bridge design and construction, and the remaining amount will go towards operations, maintenance, and rehabilitation. Next is the Los Angeles Clippers' new basketball and entertainment arena, known as Intuit Stadium. The project ties at 20th place for the world's most expensive sports venue, costing $1.2 billion, with a target opening of 2024, and having a seating capacity of over 18,000. Once finished, it'll be located right across the street from SoFi Stadium, which is home to the Los Angeles Rams and Los Angeles Chargers of the NFL, making it even more popular as some games may be played back-to-back -back across the two stadiums. However, many lawsuits have been filed in order to prevent the construction of this stadium. Uplift Englewood filed a lawsuit alleging that the agreement to build the stadium violated the State Surplus Act, stating that affordable housing, recreation, and school projects should be given priority when a city intends to sell its public land. However, due to the proximity to the Los Angeles International Airport, the land was already deemed unsuitable for residential use, and the lawsuit never made it very far. Next is the Las Vegas Convention Center Hyperloop which is the first commercial tunneling job for Elon Musk's Boring Company, turning a typical walk time of 25 minutes down to just two minutes. The one and a half mile long underground system will reportedly move up to 4,400 passengers per hour through two tunnels using a fleet of Teslas. Passengers will load into vehicles capable of holding three people, with two people in the back seat and one in the passenger seat, leaving the driver's seat empty to reduce interference with Tesla's self-driving. And they have plans for future vehicles capable of holding up to 12 people, bringing the total cost to $52.5 billion. And lastly, the MSG Sphere, which is also in Las Vegas. The Venetian Resort and Casino is currently building a gigantic music and entertainment stadium, which will be built like a sphere with a wraparound display on the outside, measuring a record-breaking 580,000 square feet to make it more appealing to tourists walking the Las Vegas Strip. And a wraparound display on the inside, measuring at 166,000 square feet for things like shows, movies, and even musicals. Both displays will be fully programmable, capable of supporting high picture resolution, and will be visible from a distance of several miles. They hope to take visitors to a whole new world depicted on the immersive screen, with a specialized spatial audio system with up to 164,000 speakers being used at once, and even going as far as to using Disney's 4D technology by using wind and smell to further immerse you into what's being shown on the screen. The sphere is anticipated to be finished in the second half of 2023, and costing close to $2 billion, it is one of Vegas's most expensive projects yet. The Sphere is anticipated to be the largest spherical construction in the world when it's finished, measuring at 336 feet tall, 516 feet wide, and can hold up to 20,000 spectators at one time, with 23 VIP suites for the more high-profile guests. Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing to the 1%.